Hi guys, sorry to intervene, but uh, this is just to let you all know that the next video is gonna be focused around mental health. It's actually very sad that it takes the demise of a young, uh, seemingly successful actor to make us a little more aware about this issue and to make us a little more careful and a little more sensitive about mental health. Uh, all this just goes to show that we're taking mental health for granted in this country and I think if I as someone that has a channel of 1000 plus uh, subscribers don't aim to sort of touch upon this and don't aim to do something about it, my existence as an influencer on YouTube or as a content creator on YouTube is pretty useless. So I'm going to touch upon this. Uh, the next video is definitely going to be on that. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, do stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video. Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to all of My name is Sid and I've got with me two people. Uh, who are behind this success story called Mantain. If you use Zomato and are in Gujarat, mein ho, you do not need any introduction to what Mantain is because these guys have been so popular over there. Uh, these guys run a cloud kitchen which makes all kinds of food and we're going to talk about them. I've got Himalay and Alap, the two guys behind Mantain. Welcome guys. First question, first question. Who was idea? Kiska tha? idea was of Alap. Okay. Actually, we were, it is an interesting story. We were sitting in a, at an ice cream shop, having an ice cream together, and we were talking about the businesses, the market, what is the market of the food right now. Let's do something in the late night segment. That is a very underserved market. Right. It was very underserved at that time. Right. And and so who came up with the name? Like Mantin Nam ke se aaya? <laughs> Mantin Nam was like we brainstormed with a few friends. We opened up a WhatsApp group with our a, a WhatsApp group with our friends and asked them we are starting a new venture for pizza. Help us out with the name. Right. So one of our friends came up with the name Manchin and we really liked the name. Before Manchin, what you guys used to do like? So we passed out in 2016 from NIT Surat. We both passed out together and okay. we opened up Manchin in 2017. You guys passed out like from bachelor's or from master's or from what? Bachelor's. Bachelor's. Hold on. How old are you guys? <laughs> I'm 26 and uh, he's a month older than, younger than me. Ah, so you guys are like sort of like one year elder to me back. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, you guys are pretty young to be doing this. Like, that's, that's pretty awesome. So, so like, uh, I want to know, like, uh, how did this start? So, you guys, you guys said, all right, let's open this up. What was the next step? Alap? Yeah. So, we just, I mean, we, we had no idea of this industry. All we had was we are foodies. We are, we are, we are mad without for food and pizza. So all we did was search on YouTube the recipes. We went on and tried 100, 100 different pizza, 100 different times, failed 100 times. And then we we went on to get into something which was survival. So right. we started on one, one fine day, gave free pizzas for the whole night to anybody who wanted to order. So we got feedback. And from that feedback, we made something which was sellable. That was awesome. Eight seconds, free pizzas. But you know, someone's marketing background 100% there. So, like, how did you get these ideas, man? It's amazing. So, you guys started cooking yourself. Like, that's how you started, right? Yeah, so for the first yeah. three months, there were no employees. I used to cook and Himalaya was used to deliver for the first two, three, three to four months. Okay. And, and this was, this was, which city did you start in? You started in Ahmedabad? In, in Baroda. In Baroda. Baroda. Achha, Baroda is the baby. Okay, very nice. So you started off yeah. here and then you moved on to... So, so right now, Himalaya, if you could just explain what the span of the business is, kaan, kaan hai, shaka hai, what is going on? So currently we are in three cities, Ahmedabad, Baroda and Surat. Uh, in Ahmedabad and Surat, we have only Manchin. In Baroda, it is a number of brands for okay. different products. Like the Manchin, there are two kitchens in Baroda. So we have Manchin food, natural juice. In natural juice, we serve freshly... Uh, uh, fish juices, right. so that is for the health conscious people. And uh, we just recently launched a brand, uh, new brand called Crunch Chain, that is ah. for uh, burgers. Oh, so, nice! Yeah. So you guys are doing like burgers, pizzas, and like desserts in general. Like, up pura yeah, yeah. consolidate so, <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. We plan to cover the almost every uh, 
uh, type of shooting in at least in baroda for in the next year guys this is fantastic dude this is amazing so i i am just yeah. curious like alap worked in the kitchen for like 3 months uh, you have been delivering for like 3 months kuch interesting story yeah. hua hoga is there might there might be some experiences that you would like to share with the viewers today yeah so the first day i mean that was very quite interesting we rented out a property uh, mm-hmm. it was a free property from a father's friend the first day the opening pizza the order we tried to serve and there was short circuit on the place so we had to move our whole whole kitchen to my home because we already taken orders for the whole night it was a free 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 pizza order so it might be it might seem like a marketing gift to other people right. so we had to fulfill the order so we moved the whole kitchen to my house and then then the whole kitchen from my house for the first night so the starting was quite interesting for us and difficult as well we were to were kitchen mein short circuit ho gaya i can imagine how terrible it would be so himale you used to deliver to people and all you ever had like customers going all gaga on you and all that yeah 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 of course so galia so, like, back in that time we used to take orders on call ah okay so, it was quite an easy task to uh, you know to interact with customers so they knew us by our name and they were like ki ha theek hai small shop hai do bande hain unko hum jante hain they apna hi dukaan hai right and they were very happy ki uh, they are getting food in late night like raat mein 2 baje us time pe kuch nahi milta tha right so yeah so so i i, I want to talk about this the right? late night wala concept hai uh so uh, how successful do you think it is because baroda jaise shehar mein there is really not much of a night life in general theek okay? hai there is nothing like people can't go out and eat or people don't get food to eat ek hai ratri bazaar hai that's it baroda mein and even with that there are so many uh, health and safety concerns that should be so uh, ye jo idea tha isko execute karne mein kitna effort laga like what what was the market receptive immediately ya fir time laga build hone mein ya kaisa tha uh, so we started with the hostel first of all right. because we knew we were going to get orders from hostel mm-hmm. uh, so we got good orders in the early days from hostel and then our name slowly and gradually uh, passed on to the royal customers as well who really needed food and quality both at the same time which was not available at that time right uh, yeah there was food available like you said ratri bazaar and all but like you know the food concerns and all so we we wanted to give quality taste and a trustworthy name which people could trust even at 3 am not the the 3 3 baje khana aa raha hai to khana we were not telling kachra i mean quality was quality and quality service that right. was the two, two things which we cared about ye main ye main attest kar sakta hu inki inki cheezon ko kyunki i am very picky with food if i order once i don't like it i never order again and i tell like 10 different people and this is how it works I tell I tell ten different yeah. people. Why? Here, sir, will order me. Agree. So, so and I, I, I've ordered multiple times from your place. So, like, it's actually pretty good. Why cloud kitchen? Why not a restaurant? So, what was the thought process behind that? Basically, restaurant is a very capital intensive business. Right. Right. You have to put on a whole setup. And uh, what we started with, we started with just uh, one lakh rupees of capital investment. That included everything, uh, the equipment. the raw materials the tables everything so it was like we were starting in a very lean way so right. to start in a lean way you don't need to you cannot set up a restaurant at this stage and then slowly and steadily we saw success in that region like the delivery area so we stuck with that that's good that's good you guys started delivering you guys basically set up like a cloud kitchen thing now what's the next plan what where, where, where are you guys going from here You guys established like a number of brands. I, I think like like uh, Himalaya just said. So what's the next yeah. step? Yeah. So we have plan- like like Himalaya already discussed. We have multiple around four to five brands in Baroda, but in Ahmedabad and Surat we just sell Manchin pizza. So our next target is to um, uh, go across Ahmedabad, Surat, and even Rajkot and all around Gujarat and sell each and every cuisine at each and every place. So that is that is a quite capital intensive process, and we are right now uh, working towards it. Yeah, I think you guys are slowly, slowly implementing it. Now that is, I think, a very nice way of implementing the whole thing. You guys are planning to get out of Gujarat sometime? Yeah, Gujarat me. Yes, of course. Yeah. Ah, so that Gujarat cover will happen, and then we can think about that. Definitely, definitely, man, definitely. That's that's pretty awesome. So uh, another thing, since you guys are like uh, a mid-sized uh, business, uh, I have to ask. What does this What does this whole coronavirus period mean? Like, what What is it? How bad is it? What What does it mean to sort of, you know, this entire phase? How good or how bad is it? What are the pros and cons according to you guys? 
So of course, there's uh, pros and cons for each and everything. Even Corona has some pros, but first of all, let's talk about the cons for the restaurant industry. Right. Uh, I mean, it, it was already a, a period of recession from the last six months for the entertainment and the tourism and the restaurant industry due to the spending power decreasing. And with Zomato and Swiggy coming in and fetching in the profit from the restaurant, it was already on a downline. I, I was, I was going to come to that in a bit. Yes. Yeah. So with Corona coming in, uh, the cash flows have been altered heavily. I mean, the, uh, we do we do not know how long it will work, how long it will go. So we do not. I mean, no planning can help us out to get out of that right. without government aid. So right now it's just uh, it's door shut for us. I mean, we can just I, wait okay. and watch. Of course, of course. And and uh, like I, I would like to ask, like how has your how has your experience been working with you know uh, guys who so apps or or company companies who take orders like that, like Swiggy, Zomato, Uber Eats, etc. Those were the companies which uh, gave us a sudden shot of orders, right? So before Zomato, Swiggy were there, we were going moderately, but steadily, and uh, we were getting good orders. We were satisfying the customers. When Zomato came in Baroda, it was we were running. At that time, we were operational for around nine nine months. Okay. So we were the only kitchen. We were the only people who were delivering at after twelve o'clock. Right. So when you opened Domato at that time, you could only see one or two people, one or two restaurant names. So that was a good boost for us, and uh, we did quite a few orders. Uh, it was the growth was almost three to four times within a period of four months. So again, that is what a startup. Uh, when people say the rest, the adult living working working in a startup, so that is the thing. You are not prepared for anything like that, and suddenly the orders are coming, and you are you are working for twelve hours straight, and you are doing physical work. Like I was at the time, uh, we had a staff, and then we got what one point five two times orders as uh, that it was expected. Right. Even I was on delivery, Ala was on delivery. And uh, so that was the uh, that was the fun part of that. that. You see, you can satisfy. It at at that time it was like there were so many customers, and we wanted to satisfy all of them. True. So that was the rush which Zomato was able to give us. That's uh, but cool. then now, as you see, when uh, seeing the success, uh, even Zomato what Zomato did was they sold our success to other people, to other restaurant owners, and they sold this. Said that see, these people are so successful. And they brought a lot of people on board to deliver during late night. So uh, right now the market is quite crowded. The people who know our name, of course, they will choose us. But other than that, you don't have a scarcity right now. Right. That is uh, a good thing. But again, like 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 you very correctly mentioned, you guys were the first people on board. So first man in the moon is the person mm-hmm. that you know people remember. Second man, we don't quite remember. So I think yeah. I think I think I think that's the right that's the wave of success you can hope to ride on at least, and I think that's that's sort of mm-hmm. also paying off. Um, so, so 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 adding to this, I mean one more thing might be quite important. When Zomato Swiggy just entered, I mean Zomato to be specific just entered Baroda, and the I mean I don't know I should discuss it on the commission structure which we we were on the same. It, it was just five hundred rupees per month. It was a flat charge to be on Zomato. Mm. Nothing else. I mean hundred percent amount came to us. Which was then increased to 25 percent, which is going on right now. So this was the, I mean, how the profit was shifted from the restaurant owners to the third party, plus 25 percent. Plus we also need to give on discount if we want to get a considerable number of orders on Zomato. Yeah. So I mean, customers, it is very difficult to uh, make uh, customers understand why the prices are rising, why. Even the raw material prices are rising, so I mean it's very difficult for the customers to understand why the prices are rising and why and what is happening to the thing. True. Even even for like so say say from the perspective of Swiggy or Zomato, like if I'm new in the market, if I'm new in Baroda, I want to establish uh you know a good connect with all the restaurants. I initially ये बोलूँगा ना I'll be like ठीक है कम में दो पांच सौ रुपए महीने का what is it nothing ठीक है I that's I think that's what happened that they try to incentivize you guys to sort of sign up with them. And now right. they're doing it the other way around. They're trying to incentivize the customers to buy from you guys. Oh, agree, agree. Or us things me bolo, ऐसे कटौती मार रहे हैं discounts and all those different things and coupon codes right, and right, right. all those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can totally understand the plight. So I uh, one more question I have, like I I want to understand. You guys were fresh out of college when you started this, right? So like how many years has it been? It's been 
what? I, I, Sorry? Like, how many years has it been? Five, four years, five years? Yeah, we started in 2017, Feb. It's been three yeah. and a half years now. Three and a half years. Ah, yeah. So, so what was the support like from your family? Like, like, how like everyone was like on board, everyone was happy about it. Like, how was So, of course. And <laughs> after engineering, starting something like a strong field, delivering orders after a B.Tech degree, of course, no one would be happy in logical sense. But after mm-hmm. they saw what we were doing, our customers, our relatives, I mean, praising us with the food, and and seeing success and doing 350, 400 orders in a day in a small shop. So of course they knew what we were doing was taking us somewhere, and right. not even after doing BTEC, this was what the what it. Hundred percent. After they, seeing the potential, they got to realize that yeah, okay, okay, they are doing something that is worth the time. But yeah, because this is a very good example for people who want to start up. Okay, ये हमेशा होता नहीं है कि तुम कॉलेज से निकलो तुमने start up किया और अचानक से successful हो भी जाए. I'm hundred percent sure तुम लोगों ने बहुत मेहनत की होगी इस चीज के लिए. Who is your inspiration when it comes to food? Like, what what do you watch? What do you who do you relate with the most? At least Alap, I can talk to you. Alap, you you've been cooking a lot. So I mean, we we are each other's inspiration. I would say. I mean, we are so. I mean, we spend most of our money in food. We spend most of our time in food, watching food, eating food, and cooking food. So I mean, this is the life life we live. I mean, we, we I mean, I, I we we both see each other and grow each other, grow together. Each other's inspiration, I would say. So, so how do you guys know each other? Same college, is really you have how you guys know each other? In the same college, I passed on mechanical engineering, and he passed electrical engineering from SUNIT. Oh, hello, maybe electronics, wala. <laughs> yeah. Relate, <laughs> <laughs> relate, relate. Karte, relate karte. So, uh, one one last little thing I want to ask you guys: What is what is your mantra to success? Ek ek karke dono. Let Let's start with uh, Alap. Alap, what's your mantra to success? Uh, I I just like two words: intent and hard work. Okay. So you intend to do something, and you are willing to put hard work on the same. You will definitely get what you want. That's that's very lovely, and that's very practical as well. Malay, what about you, Baba? Okay, so uh, coming to work ethic, Allah is my mentor. I can say that. So what I have learned about business and about working, I have learned from him only. He was the guy who inspired me to uh, do something like this. So that is the thing even which I believe in. And perseverance is the main thing because we have seen even when things go wrong, like you said, short circuit हो गया था, तो हम लोग उस दिन बंद करके सो भी सकते थे. But we persisted, we kept on the line, we stood, we took orders, we delivered them. So that is what has brought us so far. And I think that is the thing that will push us forward even through Corona time. आलाप भाई बनता है ये चीज़ you are in Baroda, I am in Baroda. First thing. मैं अभी ऑर्डर नहीं करने वाला आई एम कम टू यूर किचन आई एम पिक इट अप आई एम स्टैंड आई एम ईट विथ यू ठीक है श्योर आई बी वेटिंग फॉर द सेम हंड्रेड परसेंट ब्रो सो वी आर डूइंग दैट चलो फिक्स है ऑसम गाइस यू बीन एब्सोल्यूट ट्वीट आउट अबाउट दिस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग ऑन यू गाइज है ये स्टोरी पता है क्या ऐसी स्टोरीज डालने मुझे मेरे चैनल पर मजा आता है बिकॉज ऑफ द बीट एंड पास मैंने इंजीनियरिंग किया आई एम इन इवेंट सो आई टोटली रिलेट विथ वॉट यू गाइज आर डूइंग एंड हाउ यू गाइज आर गोइंग अबाउट दिस थिंग And uh, guys, if you guys like good food, if you're in Gujarat, as the day that you're working, like most professionals are doing, do it. Yeah, see the order. Do it. You guys. Like I'm gonna put the links down there. You can get in touch with them. All the links in the description. Go check these guys out. Show them as much love as you can. Once again, Himalay Alap, thank you so much. You guys have been absolute sweethearts. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next video. Bye bye.